so I have a few more I was able to get ready. These are polymer clay. And you can see there I have a set of earrings and a pendant necklace. I have a very great beachy one with the starfish. I have another one that I created these this stone type. I was going for like a um, geo. And this one has the barrette as well as this one with it. And then an extra pendant. Of course, some resin with dried flowers. And a couple more pairs of earrings. I love the way the honeycomb turned out. And the sunflower. And down here we have a love set. And this one is all hand wired, the, the twisted wire with the loop-de-loop. -loop. This bead is actually um, a flower on it. And then the bull heads. Oh my gosh, I love the way those turned out. Super cute. All right, guys, let me know which ones are your favorite. If it's something that you like, I'm very pleased with the way they turned out. So Mama was busy last night and I made a bunch of anklets. Look at these. Now in each color set, I have um, four different sizes. So I have a small, a medium, and a large because we all have different size ankles. That's just the way it is. So the small is seven and a half inches. So that would actually be a normal kind of like bracelet for an adult. And the medium is nine, which is your average anklet size. And your large is 10 and a half, which is what I wear. And then the extra large is a 12 because we all have different size ankles. So there we go. If let me know what you guys think about this. I think they turned out super cute. Um, now these are charms I made and I might have to change out the rose gold charms. They look like they matched okay, but as you can see here, they're definitely a gold against that rose gold. So we'll see. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.